And thanks for staying with us. Let's return to the Senate where uh, members of Parliament considered a bill that seeks to prohibit the payment and receipt of ransom for the release of any person kidnapped, imprisoned or wrongfully confined. This latest development is contained in the Terrorism Prevention Amendment Bill 2021, which scaled second reading during plenary. It was sponsored by Senator Izenwa Francis Onyewuchi, and the bill was referred to the Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters for further legislative work. To read, anyone who transfers funds, makes payment or colludes with an abductor, kidnapper or terrorist to receive any ransom for the release of any person who has been wrongfully confined, imprisoned or kidnapped is guilty of a felony and is liable on conviction to a term of imprisonment of no less than... Still at the Senate, lawmakers condemned the recent spike in the theft, vandalization of rail lines across the country. They're greatly concerned about the worsening trend and the motion was moved on the floor of the Senate by Senator Buhari Abdufatai, representing Oyo North Senatorial District. Tijeswa Adeoye has details. Disturbing viral videos of vandalized railway tracks have captured the attention of lawmakers. This will clearly be a setback to the revitalization of this critical transport sector that has gulped billions of naira over the years. The federal government has invested heavily in this sector through the construction of new rail lines and rehabilitation of old ones because of how strategic rail lines have become to economic development. Now the safety on rails is under threat and its contributions to economic growth and development may also be jeopardized. The Nigerian rail has been neglected for decades. Maybe the concerns raised by senators for increased security and surveillance of the rail tracks will turn the tide against the vandals, secure critical infrastructure and preserve the modest economic gains recorded recently. I'm worried that all aforementioned rail vandalism can cause acute train mishap, resulting in the loss of precious life, with it, which is tantamount to murder and destruction of property. To take this issue very seriously, if the existing laws are not enough to give enough punishment to these criminals, we should amend the existing law so that uh, capital punishment will be imposed on those that vandalize our rail lines. The Senate urged the relevant authorities, including the Nigerian Railway Corporation, to increase security surveillance along these rail tracks and urged government to fish out the perpetrators of this crime. TJ Swadio, TVC News, Abuja.